Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install FreeBSD 11.2 version on VMware Workstation 14 Professional Edition. Before we dive in the installation part of FreeBSD on VMware Workstation, let us first of all understand what is FreeBSD and what are its unique features. FreeBSD is a free and open source Unix-like operating system descended from Research Unix via the Barclays software distribution BSD. Although for legal reasons FreeBSD cannot use the Unix trademark, it is a direct descendant of BSD which was historically also called BSD Unix or Barclay Unix. The first version of FreeBSD was released in 1993 and as of 2005 FreeBSD was the most widely used open source BSD distribution accounting for more than two thirds of all installed systems running open source BSD derivatives. FreeBSD has similarities with Linux with two major differences in scope and licensing. FreeBSD maintains a complete operating system that is project delivers kernel, device drivers, user land utilities and documentation as opposed to Linux delivering a kernel and drivers only and relying on third parties for system software. And FreeBSD source code is generally released under a permissive BSD license as opposed to the copyleft GPL used by Linux. The FreeBSD project includes a security team overseeing all software shipped in base distribution. A wide range of additional third-party applications may be installed using the PKGNG package management system or the FreeBSD ports or by directly compiling source code. Due to its permissive licensing agreements, much of the FreeBSD code base has become an integral part of other operating systems such as Juniper Unos, Apple's Darwin, which is a base for macOS, iOS, watchOS and tvOS operating systems, PFSense, the Nintendo Switch system software and operating system running Sony's PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. So which means that it has its root in today's modern ultra word smart technology. Now if we talk of some latest release, the latest release is 11.1 .1, that is released on 26 July 2017 5 months ago and the package manager is PKG and the platform is IA32, X86 and 64 bit platform, 64 bit Spark PCs, Power PCs, ARM, MIPS etc etc. So the official website which you can see right now you can see that is freebsd.org and how to download I just get you back in just a moment. So let's check out some about the background of FreeBSD. FreeBSD roots go back to University of California Berkeley. The university acquired a Unix software license from AT&T. Students of the university started to modify and improve the AT&T Unix and call this modified version the Berkeley Unix or the BSD implementing features such as TCP IP virtual memory and Unix file system. The BSD project was founded in 1976 by Bill Joy, but since BSD contained code from AT&T Unix, all recipients had to get a license from AT&T first in order to use a BSD. So this was a brief regarding introduction to FreeBSD and somewhat regarding the background of FreeBSD. So you can see that on the website everything is available that is home about get FreeBSD documentation, community, developers, support and foundation and you can see that the latest version is 11.1. So how to download 11.1? .1. So let's click on get free BSD. So over there you can find that there is a version called 11.1. .1. So click over there and come downstairs you can see that there are links over there. So free BSD 11.1 .1 release may be downloaded via HTTPS from the following website and even the virtual machine images are also available and even for instructions for installing can also be available on the website. So let's click on the first link over here. So you can see that uh, lots and lots of links are available. So what you have to do, you just have to bypass the checksum versions and over there you can find that there is AMD DVD1 ISO which is about 3.3 GB of disk space. So let's click over here. You can find that it has started downloading. So I don't want to download because I have already downloaded it. So let me cancel and let us go to the part B of my video in which I will be demonstrating how to install FreeBSD 11.1 .1 distribution on VMware Workstation 14 Pro. So here you can see that I have already started VMware Workstation. So let us first of all click on create a new virtual machine. So let's go to typical and click on next. So now you can see that we have that is this that is click on installer disk image and now let's click on browse. 
and let's go to my D drive that is operating system you can find that there is a free BSD 11.1 .1 AMD 64 so I'm using the 64 bit edition so let's click on properties you can see that it is about 3.11 GB of size so it's a heavy distribution which you can see so let's click on OK and let's click on open so you can see that free BSD 11 64 bit is detected by the operating system of VMware workstation so let's click on next so here I type that is free BSD 11.1 so you can type any name as per your requirements so let's click on next so I just give it 40 GB of hard disk drive to be better secure so let's click on next so let's click on customize hardware and let me provide the disk space that is about a 4 GB of RAM so processor let me increase the number of cores to number 2 and for uh, DVD it is ok and network adapter NAT is good for internet connectivity so let's click on close so which means that we have successfully configured our virtual machine and we are set to fire this machine so let's click on finish so you can see that the virtual machine will be will be created so let's click on power on this virtual machine so you can see that the options have come so it says the option that is boot multi user boot single user escape to loader prompt or reboot or there are kernel options and configure boot options so we just use enter that is boot multi user so you can see that it has started booting So in a couple of seconds we will be greeted by some interface. So you can see that welcome to free BSD would you like to begin with an installation or live CD so let's click on install only. So let's continue with the default key map. So choose the host name that I can choose that is free BSD 2018 so it is good for me. So over here we have that is choose optional system components here we have that is lib32 ports and over here so let's go with the default only so let's click on OK so let's go with auto UFS guided system and use the entire disk so over here we just make the MBR based DOS partitions so you can see that two types of partitions are made that is slash that is 38 GB and 2 GB is reserved for swap partition so let's click on finish and let's commit it so that it can be erased and now you can see that it has started installing so it will go with base, it will go with kernel, lib32 and ports.txz. So the installation can take between 5 to 6 minutes. So till it installs, let us pause the video for some time. So you can see that the base kernel and lib32 has already installed. So let's come on port. It will not take much time so it is very easy to install and it is very much interactive and you can see that uh, the distribution is almost you can say that we have already installed in our other uh, win uh, uh, videos that is slackware 14.2 so slackware and freebsd are the only operating systems which i have installed till date on my youtube channel which has the complete dos based or you can say the simple command based installation but might be in the coming future I'll be also installing more distributions which will have a command based interface so it is going on so the speed is fine so almost we are at 96 percent I can say and we are almost done so let's see what the next aspect will be so it is done so now it is demanding for the password for the root so let's type the password so you can say that it has taken the password of root so now let's select the network so let's click OK and let us configure the IPv4 so let's press yes and yes I want to configure for the DHCP based interface let's press yes so it is acquiring the IP address from the VMware workstation based configuration but I don't want IPv6 so I just press tab and I just press no so it is the basic DNS resolver so you can change it in the later stages so just press OK so select the region let me go to Asia and I'm in Vietnam so I just go downstairs so here is Vietnam and I just press OK and observation is 07 it is OK so time is uh, and date is also OK so I just set the date 
and it is uh, setting the time and everything is done so now what you have to go is to select these two options that is mouse uh, D as well as the synchronized time that is NTPD server and let's click on OK so choose security settings so I just take right now as a default so I just press OK and would you like to add users to be installed so let's create one more user apart from root so let's type my username as Anand my full name Anand Nair I just keep the UID as empty login group will be Anand and uh, to other groups it will be OK so login class will be again default shell will be SS so it will be again enter so home directory will be slash home and Anand so it is OK so almost uh, use password based authentication yes I want to set the password so I just won't, don't want to set the password so I just press no and uh, I just don't want a random password so I just set my password okay so I just don't want to lock the account so click on no and yes the information is okay and I don't want to add other user so you can see that everything is done and let's apply the configuration and exit the installer so the installer is now finished so let's click on and the final modification to make so it says that installation is now finished before exiting the installer would you like to open a shell in the new system to make the final manual modification I just don't want so I just press no and I just press reboot so in a matter of few seconds it will be rebooting and we will be greeted with the operating system and yes it is finally installed so let's press enter and after it boots let's log in with the root so DHCP address has been given that is 192.168.68.30 so you can see that we have successfully installed FreeBSD 11.1 .1 version on VMware workstation so let's go to login with root and my password so it is there and let's first of all see the IP address of this machine so let's go with the IF config so you can see that the IP address is 192.168.68.130 it is good so let's ping Google by ping space minus C3 with three pings and yes it is pinging so now let me show you some commands so how to update the packages as we update some repositories in Ubuntu let's update the packages in uh, FreeBSD 11.1 .1. so let's go with pkg space update so here is the command so please note it so the package management tool is not yet installed so do you want to install it so let's press Y and press enter it will be automatically updating the package as well as installing the tool so it is verifying the signatures fetching the data not will take much time so it is done okay so let's run the command again that is pkg update so it is updating the free BSD repository catalog so you can see that free BSD repository is up to date and all repositories are up to date so now let's install a basic application package that is a nano editor text editor so that I can demonstrate that whether the package is updated as well as all the repositories are crawling the packages from the internet and so that we can set to go with the advanced practicals in our coming videos on free BSD so let's go with this command that is pkg install nano so it's a simple command like we do in Ubuntu apt hyphen get install like uh, lamp hyphen server shift 6 so over here we just have the pkg install nano so let's press enter so it is updating the repository catalog and yes it has found the latest package version is 2.9.1 so let's press with y and press enter so 3 MB package not will take much time okay so it is done so let's clear this and let's type nano so yes the nano editor is working very beautifully in FreeBSD version so in this video I have demonstrated how to install FreeBSD 11.1 .1 on VMware workstation 14 Pro so do give this a shot do like this video do comment and do let me know that what other future videos do you want me to, uh, to implement on FreeBSD 11.1 .1, or do also 
tell in the comments what other videos would you like to take or what other distributions do you want me to install on uh, uh, VMware and what other videos or Linux distributions we can install. So do comment, like and subscribe my channel and do hit the bell notification so that every time whenever I update or upload any new video you will be notified. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you.